Hello guys, my name is Evans and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the 2017 May-June IGCC ICT Paper 3.2. And in the last video, we ended on step number... Um, step number... Well, we, we were doing the last um, section of web authoring. And that was um, actually step number 9, I think. Was it? Okay. And this time we're supposed to start with task number three. And this time we're doing data analysis and the section on spreadsheets. Okay. So you are going to help the trainees um, analyze data about some average broadband speed uh, speed test taken on a single day. So use the most efficient methods. So step number 10, open and examine the files 1732broadband.csv and 1732provider.csv in a spreadsheet package. Okay and um so you go ahead and examine these two files uh, in question just come back here so these are the two files in question just open them and have them examined okay so you have this one just select it enlarge um, the field so that we are able to see um, that properly then also this other file provider also select it and enlarge it and that should be perfectly fine okay so examine these two files okay take note now we are supposed to um, if we come back here we're told to save the file the broadband file as a spreadsheet with the file name broadband underscore and then you provide the center number and candidate numbers for example it's going to be broadband z, z whatever whatever and the candidate number at the end so let's go ahead and get save the broadband file which is this one go to file save us and you save it as a spreadsheet in the current folder and save it with add um you're supposed to add um you're supposed to remove the 1732 and just leave it as broadband then underscore um that okay so just come here and remove this one so then you come here underscore zm556 and then underscore um, 0001 okay and save it okay the next thing that we are supposed to do is to in your broadband spreadsheet place your name center number and candidate number center aligned in the footer of the page so come here and go to insert and in the footer in header and footer so this is header click on go to footer and here you're supposed to insert your name okay center number and candidate number so chikasa evans is supposed to be center aligned zm556 and 0001 okay next thing that we're supposed to do is step number two number 11 insert two new rows above row one okay so two new rows above row one so row one is this actually this one so right click and insert one and insert another one that's two that's good next step step 12 in cell a1 enter the title broadband speed test data so i'm just going to copy this for the sake of time In cell A1, which is this one here, and paste that one. Paste the text. Next, in cell E2, enter the subtitle speed in Mbps. Okay, so copy this one as it is, then come back here and go to cell E2, which is this one here, and enter the same title. Next step. Merge the cells A1 to F1 and format this merge cell so that text is center aligned with a white 24 point serif font and it should have a black background. Okay, so let's go ahead and merge A1 to F1. So merge and center. Make sure that the background is black. The text is supposed to be white and the font size is supposed to be 24. Okay. So just verify that you have all these attributes there. 
so text is center aligned with a white background a white foreground 24 points and it's supposed to be serif font and it has a black background color so just go ahead and verify that the font um, the font uh, actually style is um, a, a serif okay so this one Calibri is supposed to be um, a sans serif so select times new roman as a serif font so times new roman as a serif font next merge the cells e2 to f2 and um, format this merge cell as a right aligned subtitle and merge um, cells a2 to d2 so let's start with e2 to f2 okay so e2 is this one to f2 is this one merge them and they should be right aligned and they should be a subtitle okay so um, in order for you to make them a subtitle you can just increase maybe um, make them bold a little bit and just um, somewhat increase the font um, um, for these ones okay so just increase this one um, maybe uh, that's too much um, maybe 12 um, would do okay or let's say 13 okay yeah 13 is perfectly fine next thing that we're supposed to do is to um, um, is to format um, format this main cell as a right aligned subtitle we've just done that we made it right aligned we need to format the cells a2 to d2 uh, we need to merge them okay so come here a2 to d2 is this one merge them that should be fine and um, in cell c4 enter a function to look up the name of the broadband provider from the content of the file is um, 1732 provider.cs uh, csv so what we're doing now is to um, put up a formula so go in cell c4 we, we are looking up the name of the broadband provider okay so if you come back to this one the name of the broadband provider is this one for so for a the um, the provider code is a and then the provider name is be for B is BT and so on. So we're looking for where we are going to compare the codes in this Excel sheet where there's a match we retrieve the existing um, 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 uh, provider name. So the, the codes in question are these ones. So this this code, okay? So this is the, the code and then we compare it with that one and retrieve the name of the provider. So in C4 we start here. So we go equal to, then go to uh, formula, VLOOKUP and then the lookup value is actually this one so b4 okay so the lookup value is supposed to be b4 and then the table array now the table array guys we're supposed to specify the array um, from this other um, table okay so get it from here so it's going to be from a2 i think um, from here all the way to the last one which is 30 okay which is um, 30 and take note that actually uh, it's a2 and supposed to be absolute referencing so that um, um, the cells are not adjusting when you drag and drop or replicate the formula okay so that is perfectly fine next we need to check up the column index what is the column index of this um, file so the column index is actually supposed to be column number two because um, we are retrieving the name which is a uh, column two so the column index is two and then next the range okay so the range is supposed to be um, forced to return an exact match and true to return um, uh, true to return um, a an approximate match but in our case we want um, this one so once you're done with this take note that I mean you already covered here and you just say okay and once you do that, you notice that um, Excel automatically puts up the formula for you on top there, and that should be perfectly fine. And you have retrieved um, the provider name when it's F. Okay. So next question that you're supposed to do is step number 16, which says replicate this formula for each speed test. So come here and replicate this formula. So scroll down, um, drag and drop all the way to the last um, element. Okay. 
All right? So that should be just about that. Okay? Then select the entire table and enlarge it. Okay? That should be fine. The next thing that we're supposed to do now is um, step 17. Okay? Save your spreadsheet. Print only the cells A1 to F18 showing the formula. Okay? Make sure that it is in landscape orientation and the row and column headings are displayed and the contents of A1 to F18 are fully visible. So what we need to do now is to change these to um, to formula. So show the formula, but change the layout to um, orientation to landscape. And then select this to select the entire table. Double click on the boundaries to enlarge the um, the cells so that they are fully visible. Okay. Then go to um, go back here. This one. So we're done landscape orientation. We're done the contents fully visible. We're showing the formulas. We just need to show the rows and column headings. And so just go back here and go to file, print, and then page setup. And make sure that you go to sheet and then select grid lines and row. Okay. So once you do that, just say that and that should be visible. So go ahead and print this one and you should be able to score your marks. Um, after you do that okay I'm not going to do that um, it's just a matter of hitting print and that should be done next the next thing that we're supposed to do actually is um, step number um, 18 okay print all this spreadsheets uh, showing the values make sure that it is important to orientation it fits on a single page wide not single page but single page wide which means uh, across it should fit on a single page the rows and column headings are not displayed and the contents um, of all the cells um, they are fully visible so let's go ahead and change some of these um, properties so orientation change it back to portrait and then um, select this one um, for the formulas remove the formulas so you should have the values select the table click on the boundaries of the table to enlarge and uh, the fields and then um, go to file print go to page setup this time around you're not including the header nor the grid lines so just leave it as it is and then make sure that it fits on a single page wide but this table doesn't have enough space on the right side here so it won't overflow as it is it's fine just go ahead and print it and that should be perfectly fine okay so um now i'm gonna have to end this video here um so that um the next step step 19 we do it in the next video so thank you so much guys for watching this video and um I encourage you to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we do the last part of this paper and then would have solved um, um, this entire paper um, uh, today. Okay, so I'll see you shortly in the next video.